20 seconds to go before this start. Time and distance. Chris Draper needs to pull the trigger fast or he's going to be in trouble. Yes, I know. 10 seconds to go. Here that we hear a mob. So a clean start is the Kiwis who get the lead. Well, heard two things off the Emirates team in Zealand with Dean Barker. He said, I can't see the first mark. And he said, nice work, guys. It's hard to see. I'm so undecided on the maneuver here. We've got a minute to lay line up. And the bear away deployed. The bear away. Yeah, the bear away. So probably a key time, right? All right, you can see them coming towards that orange mark. We actually can see them coming out of the fog. This is the all-important bearway. Very light out of here. Smoking it all. At mark number one, yet again, it is Emirates Team New Zealand that has the lead over the Italians. The clock begins, and how far behind will Chris Draper and Luterosa challenge be as they make their way downwind? Yesterday it was 10 seconds, today, 16. Time and distance off of that line, Chris Draper. He was actually too early for the line. He had to do a big zig at the last second to avoid being over early, and it didn't pay off. Couldn't get to the line on time. All right, a couple of things for you before we bring in Gary Johnson here, Ken. I want to ask you for the folks at home that don't know what a code zero is. Explain what that is and why that's so critical today. Well, traditional sailing, we would see what's called a spinnaker on this leg, big colorful balloons. While these boats build so much apparent wind that in essence, it's just, just a big gentleman. And the sailmaking industry have, have deemed it called a code zero years ago. Completely different to any sort of downwind sail that we've ever seen in sailing before. And it's light air, so they just need more power in sail area. They could, I think it's really about they can't foil through the jibes, therefore it's okay to put up a big, a big sail like this and have to jibe it like we just saw. As we go down on the water, Gary Johnson's down there. Gary, they're going to start to emerge, and you as well, from the fog. What are the conditions and the course look like from your perspective? Well, it's certainly a navigational race right now. As they get further to the east, the fog does clear a little bit. I'm very impressed with how New Zealand's going here. Great start, going faster. And if I'm Luna Rosa, I want to do some jibes. Start maneuvering, and maybe there's a problem with that. Jennifer, on the zero, is messing the town. Okay, guys. Give it a match. Yep. I got her. Gaining all the match time. Means that when they say we're in a match, Todd, what they're saying is if the boat behind starts to jive, the boat ahead will begin his job immediately, staying completely in sequence with the other boat.